Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So in today's video, I want to go back in time by about 10 years or so, back to when the iPhone 4S was released in 2011. Because, well, I want to. It seems like a fun video that I've tried to record six times now already. <laughs> so, um, please watch the video, please. So, the iPhone 4S, eight megapixels, 1080p movie recording, glass front, glass back, stainless steel around the sides. This, for me, has got to be one of, if not the most beautifulest, beautifulest, is that, is that a word? iPhones that Apple have ever made, up there with the iPhone 10. But in 2022, it is, well, let's kind of face it, it's not a very good phone. Its last version update was iOS 9.3.6, and bearing in mind we're due to go on to iOS 16 quite soon, it's a very out of date device. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get a few apps. Now, when I say a few apps, I was able to get three, but only two of them worked. I was able to get YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. TikTok, tick anyway, let's not even go into TikTok. YouTube wouldn't fully load for me. It would bring up the main page, but wouldn't load anything else. It would then crash, and yeah, it just wouldn't really work. Facebook, I never really logged in, so I can't fully say, but the app did start and go to the login page. Now, TikTok. Surprisingly, TikTok did actually work and worked kind of okay. It was just very, 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 very slow. But using the phone as, well, a smartphone is not why I'm filming this video. The iPhone 4S as a camera, how is it? Well, it's not bad, if you ask me. It's not good in comparison to most modern smartphones that we have, such as the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 6, but it's not bad. The eight megapixel pictures in good lighting can look really quite nice. Now, Low light is where it really does struggle. There is no low light mode at all, and the low light performance is appalling, which is something you would kind of expect from a device this old. The sensor is tiny, the lenses are made of plastic, and it's just, no. Now, it can surprisingly shoot a 1080p time-lapse, which yes, even I was surprised about myself. And it doesn't look too bad, if you personally ask me. Again, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look bad. And that's the whole kind of premise of the iPhone 4. Everything that you do with the camera isn't bad, but it's not good. It's middle ground. So yeah, the low light is going to be bad. Well, of course it is. It's a 10-year-old phone. And the battery life is going to be appalling. Actually, the battery life hasn't been that bad. I have a surprisingly good uh, condition model of iPhone 4. Like, it's not broken. There are only a few scratches on the top. It's not bad. The camera app itself is quite slow to load. And once the camera app itself loads, it is perfectly fine. The viewfinder could be a little bit brighter, but that's kind of neither here nor there. And it's really nice, actually, to be able to shoot things one-handed. Like, the, the screen on this phone is so small that you can hold it with one hand and just everything you can operate. Whereas with my current phone, you have to reach up to get kind of anything at all, which is a pain in the bum, but I wanted a nice big big phone. And that's kind of where the market's going. We're going away from small phones and we're going to big phones. Anyway, getting away from that. 
Now, surprisingly enough, the iPhone 4S does have lens stabilization, so you can get walking video or handheld long-ish exposures, which I wouldn't recommend, but that's neither here nor there. You can get them because there's lens stabilization, which Apple would continue to use all the way up until the 12 when they changed it to embody stabilization, or as they called it, sensor shift stabilization, where they move the sensor rather than the spherical lens element. Now, I must say, most of the time for this phone, I've been saying everything has been okay, except for this. This is the front-facing selfie camera, and it's, it's bad. This is VGA quality. Now, I'm perfectly well lit, as you, can, as you saw from my main camera, but this is really, really bad. So, unfortunately, there are going to be no selfies on the iPhone 4S. But, again, you have that main camera round the back that you can just turn around and just use this. What do you, is that, am I, am I in frame? I can't actually see whether or not I'm in frame, I'm guessing now. It, doesn't this just look better? And it should be stable. Well, as stable as I can hold it. So, to wrap up then, the iPhone 4S camera. Is it any good? Yes and no. Would I recommend you buy one in 2022 or any more? No. Don't actively go out and buy an iPhone 4S. Just, just don't. Buy an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7 or an iPhone, actually no, avoid the iPhone 7. Buy the iPhone 8. If you just want a point and shoot camera or an offline media device, just buy a different iPhone or a different Android phone. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.